Do not be deceived. Words from Paul and Silvanus and Timothy to that congregation in Thessalonica for whom they've been praying and celebrating and bragging about. Do not be deceived because you see there are clear signs that deception has found home among them. Deception is something that lives in the whispers, in the questions. It's, it's something that, that often contains partial truth. It's as old as the Garden of Eve. Did God say you couldn't eat of any of the fruit? You won't really die. You'll know everything that God knows. You'll be like God himself. But part of Eve did die that day. There was a light in her that would never be lit again or in Adam because deception does that. Deception lives on in the questions that invite other questions that undermine truth. But it's that truth that is its only antidote. It is that truth that is its only antidote. Deception comes whispering your direction today. Start looking for truth. Hold on to that which you know, that you know, that you know, and let it shine a light into the darkness of the whisper. Is that really true? You won't really die. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Look to God. Look to truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So help you God. This is Ben Moore from West Highlands United Methodist Church with a thought for your day. Just another way of reaching out. Thank you.